Hi guys, this is part 4 and the final part in making a scrolling platformer game in Scratch. So in my last videos I showed you how to make our player move, jump and also wall jump. And I showed you how to make our level scroll and how to add the danger and our coin animation and I also show you how to code the portal so we can move to our next level and a vertical scrolling so in this video I'll be showing you how to change our backdrops and how to code our soul and jump pads so let's get started so first I'll show you how to code our change backdrop so for that click on player and when we apply clicks we need to broadcast a new message and wait change backdrop click ok so this is optional so if you want to change your backdrop in your levels only do this and now click on your backdrop and when I receive you change backdrop grab if equals level equals one then we need to switch backdrop to one duplicate change to two switch backdrop to two duplicate three and we need to switch backdrop to three four five and six change this to four five and six So now I'll show you how to code our soul. So click on soul. So now click on danger. And let's copy all these codes to our soul. So now click on so and let's clean up our blocks and when I receive set game we need to hide and when I receive setup we need to set player dying to end and if level equals 2 we need to switch costume to so and then we need to Set our X to 65 and Y to 130. If level equals 3, switch costume to so. And remove this clone act. And if level equals 4, switch costume to so. And we have clone at X 916 and Y negative 20. If level equals 5, switch costume to so, we need to clone at x 800 and y 70. Now let's remove the other two blocks and then we need to set our x to negative 99999. position block we need to set size to 50 and go to back layer and we need to turn 12 degrees
And now when I receive a tick, grab an if statement. So if, grab an end. So if touching player, and if player dine equals to n, then we need to set player dine to y. We need to broadcast player die and wait. Then we need to set player die to n. And we need to clone it, it's not change x. We need to set our x and y to x and y. So remove this next costume. We need to switch costume to soap. So okay, now let's see whether it works. And finally we need to create clone of myself. So now let's test spread out so it works. So now you can see our soul works. So now you will see nothing happens if our player touches the soul. So for that, go for player. And when I receive you, player die, we need to set our exit. To die. So now let's just it. And now you can see our player dies if our player touches the soul. So our soul works. So now I show you how to code our jump pads. So let's copy our codes on our soul to our jump pads let's clean up these blocks And when I receive setup, let's remove this. If level equals one, let's remove the switch costume too. And we need to clone at X360 and Y35. And if level equals three, we need to clone at X 
539 and y negative 75 and if level equals 4 we need to clone at x 300 and y negative 40 and if level equals 5 we need to clone at x250 and y negative 50 then 590 and y74 then 1075 and 220 then we need to set our x to negative 99999 And then in our position block, let's remove these blocks and when I receive tick, remove these blocks and when clone at X we need to switch costume to screen bow down then we need to create clone of myself and when I start as a clone forever forever if touching player we need to broadcast bounce And then repeat next costume wait 0 0.1 seconds and then we need to switch costume to spring bolt up so now click on your player and when I receive bounce we need to set speed y to 30 and we need to change player y by speed y so now let's test our jump pads So now you can see if our player touches the dump pad, our player bounces. So our jump pad works. So now I show you how to call our win. So when green flag clicked, we need to go to X0 and Y0. And then we need to wait 2 seconds. And we need to wait until level equals 6. And we need to wait one second. Show. And then we need to hide our variable level. And then Click on player and define player win. We need to broadcast, change backdrop, and wait.
so okay now let's test our game so now you can see our jump pad works and if our player touches the spikes or if our player falls down it dies our portal works and our saw works And our change backdrop also works. So our scrolling platformer game works. So if you like this video please make sure to give it a like, subscribe and share and see you with another scratch tutorial.